Today, we're considering the appropriation of the word powwow from Native American culture and how using this term can impact team members. Making informed choices with language is vital for creating inclusive workplaces. Hello, I'm Jennifer with Unexpected Virtual Tours and Training, where we host radically creative DEI and team building events for remote and hybrid teams. Welcome back to Coming to Terms, where we trace the roots of the words and ideas that make up our world. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest best practices in DEI and virtual team building. Let's start by defining the word powwow and examining its origins. It originates from Native American indigenous cultures, and most scholars believe it comes from the Algonquin language. It refers to a gathering or meeting of Native American people to celebrate their heritage, share knowledge, and strengthen their communities. Powwows continue to be celebrated today in small towns, big cities, and in a variety of venues. Unfortunately, over time, the word powwow has been appropriated and used in ways that disconnect it from its cultural context and traditions. Now, people often use it to describe a quick professional meeting or a brainstorming session. Using the term powwow casually or uncritically can be seen as insensitive and disrespectful to indigenous cultures, as it reduces significant cultural practice to a mere catchphrase. Moreover, this casual colloquial use is also ironic, given that powwows were actually made illegal in the US and Canada into the 20th century. Now, in light of that fact, let's take a moment to discuss how using the term powwow can affect team members. When peers use the word powwow inaccurately, it can be disrespectful. Appropriation of indigenous terms can marginalize indigenous team members, making them feel like their heritage and culture are not respected or valued within the workplace. In some cases, the use of culturally appropriated terms like powwow can contribute to a hostile work environment, negatively impacting team dynamics and productivity. Even if your team doesn't include indigenous people, the misuse of this term can perpetuate cultural insensitivity both in and out of the workplace. So what can we do to promote inclusivity and avoid the inappropriate use of such terms? Start by educating yourself about the cultural significance of words like powwow. Learn about the history and traditions of Native American peoples to gain a deeper understanding. Show respect and sensitivity when using words from other cultures. While the English language derives from many languages and borrows words from many other cultures, consider the impact your words may have on team members with different backgrounds. If you're not sure whether it would be appropriate to use a word from another language or culture, try to find a synonym. Instead of using, for instance, the word powwow, try meeting, consultation, chat, or huddle. Commit to continue learning about cultures and histories that are different from your own. Consider engaging in DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion training to build cultural competence and create a more inclusive workplace. For more online resources or for more information about unexpected virtual tour and trainings, Indigenous and Native American Heritage Virtual Tour, visit our website, which you can find in the links below. So now that we've come to terms with the word powwow, we know that it carries deep cultural significance for indigenous and native peoples, and we know that its appropriation can be hurtful and marginalizing. By understanding the origins of such terms and promoting respectful language use, we can contribute to a more inclusive and culturally sensitive workplace where everyone can thrive. That's all our time for now, but we'd love to keep the conversation going in the comments, and we hope this video has shed light on the roots of how our language evolves and inspires you. Until next time, stay informed, stay inspired, and stay in touch.